Hey man. What the hell are you doing, man? What? What? You how long have you been here? I don't know, man. I think I'm jet lagged. Yeah, well, I think you're goddamn drunk, man. I passed out in the bar up there. Come on, we're gonna go get breakfast. Get some black pudding. <laughs> Hair the dog, man. Hair the dog. Yeah, I'm still pretty good at it. I don't want to do it right now because with the kids here, I'm so good at it. It's going to crush their confidence. Uh, so I'm just going to kind of sit back. But uh, being a kid and arts and crafts and, um, you know, creating spells and hexes and things like that. I was always really good at it. That's the pit board it says you win. And that's me and Gunther. Um, it's not a question of my lover's accent. Do you love his accent? Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. he's got, uh, yeah, that's yeah. what people from Oklahoma sound like. Yeah, but you... Okay, how about him right here? Uh, call the ambulance. Oh, you're right. Call the 999. It's a different number where I'm from. What's the number? It's 911. So and I can't number. dial 999 back where I'm from. I got to dial 911. And actually, if you... I won the CPR contest today. Brought the most people back to life. back there uh, just doing uh, you know a lot of interviews I've had a ton of interviews already I wish they could... and now it's a pissing contest you know but I, I had a probably an hour interview with the BBC which is big here um, I'm not sure what it stands for but uh, they were good people and the people of England man, they just love us and, uh, yeah, it's just going to be interviews all day. Everybody kind of pulling a gun there. Hey, Gunther, come over, have a beer. You know, uh, you know, let's uh, let's chat and whatnot. <laughs> but uh, good people. Like oh, okay, so going 60 miles per hour. Just keep it about this height. I'll just get out your way then. And from a bright fight preparation point of view, um... no, I already blew it up. <laughs> I was going too fast earlier. They wanted me to ride the bike around and. You know, I get going at least 69 miles per hour down that straightaway, wide open, and she just shut off. They don't make technology to support my talented riding yet. So from a competition point of view, you're really not concerned by any of the other guys that, that are here, like David Knight? Or oh, Alan no, or no. Ronnie Mack, his biggest competition is Ronnie Mack. You know, yes, I, himself. Really. I can only beat myself. I mean, Bolt looks fast. You know, being Usain Bolt's brother or whatever. <laughs> so he's got to be fast. <laughs> Hey, what are, what are you doing? I gotta fix this bike, man. <laughs> Always cut your fenders. Yeah, hey, that's bad. Right. That's better. This thing sacks it. This thing's been tall.
that's the thing. Like people are like, hey, Ron, why are you making them faces while you're riding? And like, dude, them are that's sheer action shots. You think I got time to be making some funky face while I'm riding? That's just what it is, man. I, when I'm buckering down and I'm just hammering on the throttle, sometimes I get my lip up a little bit. You know, don't don't try to make fun of my faces that I make when I ride, man. That's that's me. We're just hanging out with the people here. I don't even have a fucking beer. I don't know why. I don't know if somebody's gonna buy me one or what, but I need myself a proper pint. Oh man. Well, let's see here. I'm trying to figure out if somebody's gonna buy me a beer at some point. I haven't asked, but I gotta be honest with you, I don't have any British currency. So I'm gonna head down this way and then I'll catch up with you guys a little yeah, later. See ya. All right. I need a beer. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what it is, but it's tasty, man. It ain't PBR, but it's still good. On the agenda, it literally had like six or nine lines, and all it said was superstardom, superstardom, superstardom. How many is that? Four. Superstardom. Superstardom. That was the agenda, man. Just, you know, bringing Gunther out to the people and shaking hands, kissing babies, signing autographs and things like that. We do this for the people, you know. And uh, I'm the only son of a bitch that's wearing jorts today. Because that's how I do it. <laughs> I mean, it's badassery, right? Let's go! Some of you have showed us this week has no boundaries or roads or highways. But drunken dragons. Yeah, yeah. You hold, you want to hold the mic? I'll hold the mic for you. Yeah, that. Okay. Oh, I'm nervous. How you guys doing? All right. You got it, Bubba. Okay. Woo! Dear English, you put the. Dear English roses. Woo! The love you have showed us this week has no boundaries or roads or caves. Like drunken dragons with bleeding eyes, you showed us how to love. Uh, don't ever forget us, you sons of bitches, or you'll die a horrific and untimely death by being bitten by 10 million moths at once. Thank you, we love you. Thanks, guys, we appreciate it. I gotta get back and I gotta figure out what works, what doesn't work. What went right and what went wrong? Because there are a lot of things <laughs> that went right. You know, we got to touch a lot of lives. Uh, we got to meet a bunch of kids and a bunch of adults, a bunch of men, a bunch of women. We met dogs. You know, there were hedgehogs there. There were lizards. I seen snakes there. It was almost like the ark. <laughs> there was pretty much two of everything there. But uh, we're going to get back. And uh, we're going to be stronger than ever, man. I appreciate all you. Is there something on my face, man? Right here. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, you got it. All right, I'm done, man. <laughs>